Kylie here from, which way does it go? That way. <laughs> easy mind, easy life. Okay, so I was on a little thread at the end of the last video and I thought it would be super important to continue with that thread in this video. So, ah, uh, why is it, right, that there are all of these messengers out there? Why is it there are messengers that can see angels? Why is it there are messengers that can hear angels? Messengers, guides, like whatever word you want to use for all of these people out there that have all of this information to help you along your way. Why is it that they can see and hear all of these things, but you don't seem to be able to? we all have the same abilities we all have the same abilities like the same capacity to heal ourselves we all have the same capacity to tap into this inner wisdom however that shows up for everybody but the main reason the most important reason why so many people don't is because they're not open to it they're not open to receiving the inner wisdom that's inside them. And for so many, that reason that they're not open to receiving is because they don't feel good enough. They don't feel worthy, maybe, to be in that space with this beautiful life force energy, with this beautiful intelligence, with this source, this universe, whatever it is that you want to call it. So many people don't feel worthy of being in that space. They don't feel good enough to be in that space. And because of that belief is that they've closed that door and they're not in touch with it. But it is inside everyone. You know, that wealth of knowledge, that beautiful abundance of wisdom that you have inside. We all have it inside. These beautiful angels that some of us see, we all have that capacity, but we don't allow ourselves because we're not good enough to be in the presence of angels. Are we? You know, uh, when I started doing Reiki and the angels started to appear, I would they would appear all the way up there, you know, um, in the distance, very far far away very high and this is a year ago now because it's almost June this was a year ago and I remember they would show up there for all my healings whether it was for me or whether it was for someone else and the reason was they weren't coming down they weren't coming to be with me because I wasn't ready to let them in I wasn't ready I was happy to have them there at a distance because that's where I believed they belonged all the way up there with God, far away, almost couldn't see them, but just, just, I could just see them. <laughs> and it was in this space that I would walk into and I would just see them all the way up there. And then one day, one day, and this is, these are all stories from my, the fourth book that I'm already writing. It's already in there. I remember one day I was doing a healing and Archangel Michael dropped in right in front of me. And I just started to cry. I couldn't stop crying. And then Archangel Gabriel to my right side. Archangel Uriel stood behind me. And even now, as I call them in and I talk, you know, I'm saying their names. I'm getting all covered in goosebumps or the tingles as you call them. And to my left was my beautiful Archangel Uriel. Metatron always stays up there. He's, um, almost like he's supervising the healing or he's you know keeping a watchful eye that everything's going the way it needs to go but that day that they all dropped in oh I couldn't the whole healing I just couldn't stop crying because I just felt their intense love you know and when I've seen them doing healings on others as I'm doing distance healings I see that intense love for everyone it wasn't just for me because I was doing all these healings but it was for every, they feel that for everyone. That love is for everyone. It's not just mine and exclusively for me, but it, you know, it's for everyone. And the angels are there for everyone. But the reason that they don't appear for others to see them is because 
we don't let them in. We've shut them out, that we're not worthy, we're not good enough. We don't deserve that much love to be in the presence of angels. Because that's how I felt, you know? So when they came down that day, it was, uh, I, it was one of the most beautiful moments in my life uh, to have them there around me, surrounding me, you know, <laughs> with their love. And uh, yeah, I'll never forget, that was one of my favorite healings, you know, of, um, of being with the angels and working with them. And uh, since I started Reiki, I don't know what unlocked inside of me that they were present from the very beginning. They just started showing up. And I remember in the beginning, it was just Archangel Michael that would show up because he was the only one I was comfortable calling in. And then, you know, for some reason I called in Archangel Gabriel and the next thing I knew I had then Raphael because of course he's the Archangel for healing. So it didn't take long before Raphael was called in and he would appear and I would see him. And then Uriel took a while because I wasn't, I didn't have a connection to Uriel. I didn't, I wasn't sure what she was all about. And uh, yeah, and so I went online, I went on Google and I looked up all the different you know, websites and you go on there that everyone has a different opinion of what each angel is and what they're for and what they do. And I got really confused there as to what she was. <laughs> so instead of following all that, like I said, you have your inner guidance. I went in to a self healing and I called just Uriel in and asked her, what is your purpose? Why are you here? You know, and, uh, yeah, it was just a beautiful moment just to have that healing just with her that day. And to get to know her a little bit, I feel more connected, you know, when she shows up now. And uh, sometimes we have a giggle and uh, it's really beautiful. And the same happened, actually I'll go into the, the same happened with Mother Mary and Jesus. I had so much negative energy towards them because of Catholic Church and all the, you know, I just, I couldn't have them in my presence. I just couldn't deal with them being in the same space as me. For a really long time, I didn't even call them in. I was like, no, that's got to do with church. I don't want anything to do with that. And then one day I remember I was doing a healing and I just felt called. I felt guided to call them both in, Mother Mary and Jesus. And for a really long time as well, they stayed up there because they knew <laughs> that I wasn't comfortable to have them here in this space with me. But I was doing a distance healing and I felt that the other person really resonated with them and wanted them present. And I found out later when I was talking to that person that yes, they're the ones that they use for all their healings. They're the ones, Mother Mary and Jesus, that they always want to have present. So it was funny as I called them in, they both went and they you know, stood with the person that was receiving the healing, where I could see them, you know, uh, when I was doing the Reiki healing. So, yeah, all of these things, they're not exclusive to just a few people. It's just that we're open to it. You know, we've, we've, I've done the work where I've released so much junk, so much stuff that didn't serve me, and just so much that wasn't me, that wasn't true about me, you know, that wasn't the real me. And the more I started to let go of all of that and open up to the truth of who I am was that all of these beautiful blessings started to come into my life because now I was open to receiving them, you see? So, you know, these angels, they're with you all the time. They're guiding you all the time, sometimes in whispers, you know, of, you know, don't do this or do this or... They're always talking to you. They're always trying to guide you. And sometimes they'll show you a sign, an actual sign that <laughs> you'll read. <laughs> and sometimes it'll be through, you know, a message on TV, something you're watching will give you a specific message that's just for you. Um, they're constantly talking to us and they're constantly loving us. It was the most overwhelming thing that I felt when they came in. Just the amount of love that they have for everybody, for all of us, is just incredible. And it's always there. 
But if we don't feel good enough and we don't feel worthy, we don't let it in. We don't allow them to come into our space to be with us. So today, you know, I'd like you just to sit with yourself for a little bit and even just imagine how nice would it be to have just one angel, just choose one, or just one being, whether it's Mother Mary, whether it's Jesus, just one that would make you feel happy that they're there with you, even if you don't feel good enough, even if you don't feel worthy. How nice would it be? they are there <laughs> they can't come in until you allow them to but they are there but just choose one like I did with Archangel Michael the others will come all right my darlings I love you guys remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and I'll see you in the next video bye for now